I predicted it would happen. I even predicted who it would happen to. It was inevitable that one of these frauditors was going to get a slap. And it happened allegedly, and I'll come to what I mean by allegedly in a bit. But it happened, allegedly, to PJ Audits when he stupidly and arrogantly approached a scrap merchant's with usual plan to cause a confrontation. Of all the stupid places to pick an argument. Yeah, well, I am going to fly a drone over the top as well and get some aerial footage in You all fell, though. Yeah, I am. But before we get to the alleged assault, I want to talk about a subject that's becoming more and more prevalent as the number of auditors flying drones continues to increase. I'm talking about the Air Navigation Order. Article 241 says a person must not recklessly or negligently cause or permit an aircraft to endanger any person or property. Now I say the sighting of this article is becoming more prevalent and here are a couple of examples. First for the Black Belt Barrister and also from Sean at Geeksvanner. If you're not already subscribed to both of these channels, although I'm sure you will be, there will be a link to both of their channels in the description. We have the Air Navigation Order of 2016, Article 241, which provides that a person must not recklessly or negligently cause or permit an aircraft to endanger any person or property. Article 241 of the Air Navigation Order covers every single drone flight, whether you're flying a sub 250 gram Mini 2 or a GVC flight with an Inspire. It states, a person must not recklessly or negligently cause or permit an aircraft to endanger any person or property. So you'll see that in many times in these frauditor videos, they're clearly causing or and permitting an aircraft to endanger property and often people as well. If you don't agree that they're endangering anything, leave a comment stating your case. I'll be happy to have an argument with you about it. <laughs> so anyway, on to the alleged assault on PJ Audits. This clown of a man who has been annoying people at work for over a year now, and he's so very, very proud of himself. 700 odd videos so far. Yeah. He seems to think the number of times that he has annoyed people is going to make this bloke back down. But look at the expression in this scrap merchant's face. You know what he's thinking, right? 700 odd videos so far. Scrappies are notorious for being places where there are big burly working men who do not suffer fools at all. So you do all sorts of recycling here, do you? Yeah. Alright. I love recycling yards. It's also been suggested that scrappies are full of dubious characters with nefarious intent. In other words, this is not a place you should turn up to with a camera and tell them it's your right to film their activities from a public place and that you're going to fly a drone over their site. How are you doing? No, you're all right. I'm just doing a bit of videoing, there. You're a pal. Just doing a bit of videoing. What are you videoing? Uh, Griffiths Group Metal and Waste Recycling. Aye, uh, what for? I make YouTube videos. Alright, yeah. And I love recycling yards. Right. For some reason, I don't know if it's just me a bit daft or whatever like, but... Yeah. Well, I you are a bit daft, but that's not the real reason you're here, Peter, is it? I mean, I'd prefer it if you didn't, if I'm honest with you, like. Yeah. I mean, they're full of... You've got no permission or all, have you? Well, if I'm, as long as I'm not on your property, I'm fine, mate. Right, okay. But, uh, no, they're full of really interesting pieces of equipment. I mean, he's just been telling me about that. He's not been used for a bit, like. Right, yeah. But he's been telling me about yeah. it. And he has some massive big 360 grabs and yeah. all oh, sorts yeah, of stuff. Yeah, thing, you should have people's permission, pal, if you want some videos. Yeah, well, I am going to fly a drone over the top as well and get some aerial footage of it. You are, pal, no. Yeah, I am. Well, if you do, I'll shoot it out fucking sky, pal. You won't be flying a drone You're going to shoot there. it down? What yeah. do you shoot it down with? Not going he has to be either dumber than a bag of hammers or so cocky and arrogant that he thinks he'll be able to intimidate these blokes the way he intimidates people at all of the other sites he's visited. But well, he's wrong. I've done a letter or an email, people might feel a bit different about it when yeah. you're just turning up with a video I did, uh, and a drone and stuff. It, it gets people's backs up, doesn't it? Well, I did a, I did a fantastic one at another um, ward site down towards Nottingham and I did a 
a, a, a tour at site with drone and put some dramatic music on. Look really, really good. People might even pay you for it, but I, I do think just turning up and videoing people's sites, people, you know, it's not. Yeah. You should, shouldn't be able to be allowed that, should it? Yeah, what do you do here? Well, I own it. I'm oh, you're man, yeah. you're Mr. Oh, no. Griffiths, are you? Mr. Yeah? Griffiths, yeah. All right, okay. Yeah. It's obvious that this bloke does not want this clown to be flying a drone over his sight. And it's pretty obvious too, there will be repercussions if he does it. But our steadfast reject from the Pirates of the Caribbean seems to think that he can do whatever he likes and people will just let him. Well, if I'm, as long as I'm not on your property, I'm fine, mate. So what about this alleged assault? Well, plodding Pete, despite an obvious warning or two, he decides to fly his drone over the site anyway. It's almost immediately after he launches the drone that he's approached by an angry worker. Right, let's go and have a look at Griffith's group. Now, he threatened to shoot the drone down with a shotgun. Some people are full of it, I know. So, uh, let's have a look. Just going to take her up a bit. And then we can get the full... Uh, Extent of the yard in. That goes over this yard. I'm gonna punch it in the face. All right, mate. All right, mate. All right, mate. No, your mate is not all right. Did you not hear what he said? That goes over this yard. I'm gonna punch it in the face. Fuck off. Leave me all you want, but fuck off. It's not over your yard, mate. That's my yard. That's my yard. That's my yard. Alright. Now fuck off. It's not over your yard. Fuck off. Does anyone watching this think that this auditor should just continue? Do you still think that it's right to fill what he likes from a public place and photography is not a crime? I'm in a public place! I can film whatever I can see! Photography is not a crime! Photography is not a crime! Photography, photography, photography is not a crime! Do you auditor fanboys still encourage plodding Pete to continue, even in the face of adversity, because we must protect our rights? Or do you finally realise that if he continues this anti-social behaviour and goes on creating confrontations in his thinly veiled passive aggressive manner, he's probably going to end up in one of those containers buried up to his head in scrap metal. Yeah, alright. I'll uh, fetch the drone down. Fetch it down. Wait, what happened to, it's my right to film in a public place? Today I'm doing this here place and seeing if I can find anybody to wind up. I'll be trying to get them to shout at me and threaten me and if they call the police on me, that's even better because I'll get me more views on my YouTube. And I don't care if you upset anybody because it's my right to annoy people in this country under section blah de, blah paragraph umpty dumpty of the legal legislation of the law. And nobody has taken away my rights to do what I like in this free country. Here's where the alleged assault takes place. And I say alleged because despite this auditor having at least two cameras on him, and a camera on the drone, plus an assistant with at least one camera, he fails to record any assault whatsoever. Give me your remote. Get the f Give me that. Oi, give me that. You f***ing not. I f***ing care. You dick splash. Give me your remote. Go. Give me your remote. Get the camera out. Get out of here. Come on. Hey. I'm doing a video, mate. Hey? I'm doing a video. Give me your remote. I've got a belt to hand out, mate. I'm videoing. Who's that remote? Get f***ed. Get that in the car. Get videoing this idiot here. What the f*** are you doing? What the f*** do you think you're doing? What the f*** do you think you're doing? Excuse me, I've got a belt now. arm. Bro, can't beat your f***ing face, you f***ing leave it. I've got his reg number. We're f***ing rolling. Give me the drone, quick. F*** off. Hey, go on video.
So as I said, two cameras on him, a drone camera plus an assistant with at least a camera. He fails to record a single piece of footage of the assault. But in his other 740 videos, he manages to capture all of these confrontations in camera. Aye. Smells kind of like fish. So that's been over 10 minutes of stuff to consume in this video. That can be a lot, but we've still got a ways to go. So if you like, now would be a good time to pause this video, go refresh your drink, go for a bio break, and come back, watch the second part, where I'll show what happens to this clown after the alleged assault. I'll show what happens when the police arrive, and I'll show the follow-up from the police a few months later. Hello Mr. Officer, it's Casey Arch calling from uh, West Yorkshire Police. I'll also be showing you what kind of a personal character this clown actually has. So don't start feeling sorry for him, he's not a nice person at all. Sick. Christ, I need your f***ing noise. Get a video on this idiot here. Who's the f***ing idiot in the video? Yeah, I just f***ing bum pole. What the f*** do you think you're doing? What the f*** do you think you're doing? Eh, excuse me. Eh? Excuse me, I've got a broken arm. And I'm a Look out, bro, you f***ing face, you cunt! I've got a red number. We're f***ing well in. There you go. Just get in the car. Still no sign of any physical assault. A lot of shouting, granted. And some threats, but I don't hear any audio or see any video of any physical attack whatsoever. But PJ Audits thinks it's okay to annoy other people. Let's see what happens when the shoe is on the other foot. Blocked in. How do you like them apples? So, what does our hero do? Our hero who likes to film the police to try to catch them out in something? Well, he phones the police to ask them to come and help him. I'm recording this as well, alright then. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I make YouTube videos, 700 odd videos I've got on YouTube. Aye, 700 videos of exactly the same old picture. I go around industrial estates, I video companies uh, and places of interest. No you don't, you fanny. You turn up at places where people work and you try to create a conflict so you can put it on your YouTube channel. That's it. Do you think the police don't know what's going on here? You know, plants and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Um, I had a walk around the site, did some video uh, around the site on the public footpath, didn't go on their premises or anything at all. Uh, the only time I went on premises was went to his place to knock on the door to just tell him I was going to fly a drone over. Yeah. Uh, stood at the entrance to the scrapyard there, didn't go on site. Uh, he asked me what I was doing, so I was just making YouTube videos. Look at the expression on the faces of these two cops. YouTube videos, I sit down there flying a drone over in a bit. And he says, you fly a drone over it, he says, I'm going to fucking shoot it down. Uh, so I'm going to shoot it down with it, says shotgun, uh, and I did, did check him, you know, if it's an aircraft, if you shoot it down, you know what I mean, beat shit kind of thing. Right. He says, I don't give a fuck. So anyway, um, I sent the drone up, did a quick video of this place and that place and that place. I haven't even got over there, fences, and they all come running out, effing and blinding at me, uh, trying to grab my controller from the drone, uh, punching me, kicking me. And what are your injuries? I've got a broken arm, they've punched me on my broken arm, right. they've punched me in the chest all right, twice. Alright, so just have a look, you're alright to hold this, are you? Yeah, 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 okay. it's that one that's broke. You can't see anything, but... Aye, they broke your arm, but you can't see anything. Eh? Yeah, extend that. No, no chance. You can't extend it now. No, I can't. I can't move it, can't lift it. An obvious but feeble attempt to get some kind of compensation from the scrap merchant. I take it you were filming before. Um, did you manage to get any footage of this when they approached you? Um, 
Sorry, are you able to um, show us any of this footage? Um, um, um. How many cameras did you have with you today? So anyway, Mr Allsop reported this matter to the police and they called him back. Before we get to the phone call, I want to show you something that may shed some light on the personal character of this particular auditor. I've always said you need to be a pretty nasty type of person to take up this activity of annoying and upsetting people as a hobby. Two and a half years ago, a case was brought to Nottingham Court where a man was claiming unfair dismissal at an employment tribunal. During that case, a letter was introduced as evidence. Here's a portion of that letter. Mr Peter Alsop, PG Audits, has been arrested and is facing serious charges for taking money from lorry drivers and fraudulently giving them the qualification without them ever attending the courses required. Now I can provide a full transcript and the full documentation from this court case if you email me. So that's the upstanding citizen that PG Audits is. Now here's the phone call from the police to him about the alleged assault. Hello Mr Alsop, it's PC Arts calling from uh, West Yorkshire Police. I'm contacting you regarding the assault that took place on Ravensthorpe Industrial Estate in Dewsbury on Monday, 31st of October 2022. The crime reference number in relation to that is 13220600800. Just giving you an update that we have interviewed Mr Griffiths uh, this morning um, regarding that assault. Uh, Mr Griffiths has admitted responsibility for the offence and as such we have issued him with a community resolution uh, which he was eligible for um, a community resolution is a, an admission of responsibility for the offence um, and it, it's sort of like a formal warning for want of a better word it's the best way to uh, describe it we're given conditions so we've explained that um, the law regarding you know filming in public and uh, flying drones in the airspace um, and he's aware now of the legislation regarding it and uh, you know he's not to if there's somebody outside his property filming you know they can do uh, if they're on public land he's fully aware of all that now uh, he claims he wasn't before um, the other condition is for him to write um, a letter regarding uh, his actions that day to yourself which I have got uh, in my possession right now and I will be posting it to you uh, it's therefore completed the conditions of this and this information will stay on police systems indefinitely um, so we have a record of it um, so as such we won't be investigating this matter any further and we are considering it dealt with uh, on our end The scrap merchant owner admitted fault and he had to write a letter to Allsop and also he had to state that he now understood the law regarding drones that's it, no fine, no jail time, no criminal case to attend a mere slap on the wrist in my opinion, well worth it. What do you think about this? Who was in the right? Who was in the wrong? Let me know in the comments and we can have an argument about it if you like. I will be creating more videos about the shenanigans that the auditors get up to. All of the DJ audits, PG audits, oh I'm not even going to list them, there's so many new auditors popping up every day. So if you want to be kept up to date, up to date with the shenanigans and the goings on of the auditor community, like and subscribe to this channel and you'll have to ring that wee bell ding 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 a ling a ding so that whenever I do upload a new video you'll get a notification. Cheers, see you later. Not actually the result I wanted.